Hi guys. Be with you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start, now that it just said that, <laughs> one minute. Normally it takes it longer to... Takes it longer, so... Hmm. It didn't this time. Okay, we will get started now. My name is Vicki. I am an independent designer with Chocotour. Um, you've seen me here before on this channel. If you have not yet and would I would love it if you could hit that follow and like button to get um, notifications that when I do go live if you're catching me on my youtube channel welcome back um, those of you that have not yet please hit that subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications so when I upload a video you can come back and watch so we are going to use these paint sticks these paint sticks come in a pack of 10 we are gonna use all 10. These are one gallon paint sticks. Um, I get these at, you can get them at um, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. These I believe I got at um, Home Depot. It's like 99 cents for a pack of 10. Um, now, the YouTuber that I um, seen this done on, these are one inch paint sticks, so they're an inch wide. She had an inch between each one. I tried this out earlier to put, but once I, when I did that, these barely fit like this. I don't, I didn't like that. So we're gonna kind of squish it together just enough so we get the sticks to be the same length as the one up here. So I'm gonna use my, on my um, cutting mat here, I've got a line. Oops, get out of there what that was but we're going to use uh, we're going to save three out of the ten so we're going to use the seven um, I didn't paint these I was going to but then I thought no we'll paint it tonight I did paint my little sign this is a sign that's going to go on there this is a sign I got at uh, Michael's how cute is that you know here I am showing you stuff and there we go so these are our seven paint sticks and are three that we're saving back. I always forget to flip the camera back where it should be. This, a cute little sign, it's got the rough little rugged edges. Um, it came as plain, it was not um, done. So I used our um, bulk art home decor, it is the antique wax. All I did was I painted it on there with a paintbrush, and then I took a paper towel and wiped it off and it leaves that stain, and it's already kind of like waxed on there, so I don't have to actually wax it, wax it. Really nice. Um, we'll be putting the word welcome on there. I have a welcome transfer that we'll chalk on. This is kind of an oddball out. I'm gonna pull this one out. And I don't think you can see, but these paint sticks right there, they have this like indentation. This one has a really wide indentation and then hardly anything over here, like it was off on the cutter. So I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave it in there because what I'm doing here, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna leave it in there because when this one goes on, it's gonna go across the top of those. You're not even gonna see those ones on there. So try and get these as evenly separated as possible. So when you put these ones here, they're going to be like two inches from the bottom, two inches from the top. Just enough to cover that right there. Okay, let's pull these in a little. Now I want to make sure they're down here even.
I do have my hot glue gun in. I still haven't gotten my new one. So we're gonna be using this one. So I just plugged it in. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot that it melts all that stuff back up inside there. Now these sticks here, they have like a really light ruler. You can kind of see on there, but we're gonna paint over everything with white. So it doesn't matter what side you leave facing which way. Now these aren't perfectly spaced, but I think they're well enough that it, nobody's gonna ever notice that they're one's a little bit more than the other. One, two shoe okay so then oh lord so we have those two there so then we have this one that's left here and what we're going to do is we're going to glue these down first before we do all this but what happens here is we lay this one across with this corner here kind of running along the edge of the bottom stick here and then this one running along the edge of that stick there so then what we'll do, I'm not gonna do it yet, I'm gonna glue these ones down. Cause if I cut it now and then I try to glue it, the, I may not get it in the exact same spot, so. But what we'll do is we're gonna mark it here and here and then we're gonna take this lovely box knife and I'm gonna try not to slice my finger off. I'm gonna cut the edges off that so it'll fit down inside the two here. Oh, this is cold, baby. So, hold on. Again, hold on. I'm about to turn my fan on off. off. It's kind of cold and chilly up there. It's going, and I'm like, oh, kind of cold. I have to put a sweater on. But I don't want to do that either, because then I got to paint, and I don't want to get paint all over my self here. Okay. So, this should be hot enough. I even got some extra glue sticks out just in case. Now, the lady that did this, she didn't use hot glue. She used some kind of wood fabric glue she had. And then she came back like 24 hours later after it dried well I don't got that much time I can't be doing that stuff so we're gonna hot glue it them even not quite a this one's kind of off if I can there we go so let's pay attention to what we're doing Okay, much better.
that's what we're going to be doing, and then we'll have that. So this is going to look like the gate that opens up, so. Okay, now this piece. We want this edge to be on here, but we want it to be kind of like right on the edge of this last one, and this one to be like right at the edge of this one. So when we lay this down inside, the, this little corner piece is going to touch this. This little corner piece will touch this. And I need a pencil. My sleeves are going to get in the way. I didn't even think about that when I wore this shirt today. But I would be... And then we're gonna take where this edge is here, kind of just mark that where that would be so we can cut from here to here. Same here, we're gonna take this. Okay, let me get this out of the way for a second. That over here. Let's try not to cut ourselves. And I'm marking it with a pencil and it doesn't matter because we're going to paint it white anyway. What's my other one I had? Probably threw it away. Nope, there it is. So I had tried it with uh, this one. Let's use this as a guide. And of course, when the lady did hers on, she had stopped the film and came back and her husband had cut them and they were perfect. So um, again, I don't have that option. So you get to watch me. Try not to slice my finger off. Dang, it's pretty thick. This one here, this must have been thinner because it snapped right in two. Let's see. No, well, they're about the same thickness. That's weird. I swear when I did this one the other day, it was like just a few swipes and it busted open, but because we're live. Oh, my 
I hope everyone's having a wonderful night watching me struggle here. <laughs> This is a big, heavy-duty snipper. Not so now let's attempt the other side. that keeps flying into my face. Drum insane. I want this in the inside, not the outside. Sleep up this weekend and wonder where that piece of wood came from. Hi, Christine. Okay, good enough. Good enough. That's the old one. Okay, let me get some of this wood. Oh, 
here. Move that so I don't stab myself with it. Oh, here's what we got so far. right in there so now what we're going to do is we're going to since we're going to paint this anyway we're going to use our um, pencil and I'm going to just kind of lightly put marks here that way I will know where to put the glue if you can see oh gosh my eye itches now I don't know if you can see you can kind of see where the lines are so I'll know that that's where that's gonna go and that's where we're gonna put some glue we're gonna put a glue stick in there though yep it's starting to freaking put the glue damn it I hate this glue gun I do not suggest getting a gorilla glue gun I just don't Okay. I think I'm done with the glue now, so. Take that out of there before it gets. I give up. It's going in the garbage. I can't even get this glue gun out, and it's not even the one that's glued in there. There it goes. Look. Stupid gun. Okay, let's paint. Um, I'm going to use my white chalk paint because it will um, a lot more coverage. And I am going to paint back, backwards and forwards. I'm trying to get char, get paint all over my shirt. what I wanted to do.
if you're ever painting and it's thick and it doesn't want to spread real well, just dip your brush in a little bit of water and then dab the water off. And then you can go through the paint and it'll spread a little bit easier. sleeves or inside there Well, the one good thing about the fan going is it's drying the paint as I'm going, so. I think the next time I make this though, I'm gonna measure this and then just take it out and use a saw on it. But I kind of wanted to show you guys how to do it, you know, how it was done.
exciting stuff here, guys. Okay, I got the front part kind of semi-colored. Okay, so I'm really not gonna, um, I'll paint the back later. I'm not gonna sit here and paint the back. You guys don't need to sit through another one of that. Just know that I'm going to paint the back. And if you make this, you can paint it or not paint it, it doesn't matter. Okay. Where's my great now where my lid go? There it is. Water. Oh, that was dumb. Wiped my hands off with this towel that had paint on it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna set this to the side. This is what we're gonna do. Get this over here, let that dry while it's sitting over there. Then this sign I was shown earlier, I got this sign at, the, uh, at Michael's. See, it's kind of cute. It's got little rustic, rough edges. Um, it was just plain wood. And I took our folk art. This is antique wax, and it's a stain. So I just painted it on there. There's no fumes. Just painted it on there. Got it all on there. Then took a paper towel and wiped it off. So what it does is it, it also stains, but it's also got a wax in it. So now I don't have to wax the, the board. It's already waxed for me. And... We have these smaller welcomes here and here. This was the one I really liked. I'm like, oh, it's really, um, might not fix. It's pretty big. It fits, but it's just almost, it's the same size as the signs. And I really like the font on it. So we're going to use it anyway. I'm going to put this over here for now. Holding it up because the light shows and I can see kind of see where it's fitting on the board. I need to bring it down some. I like it right there. That way it all gets on there. And we're going to use white.
And the lady that did hers today, she did it with vinyl. She made it welcome with her Cricut and did the vinyl. And that's fine too. But since I'm a Chocotour designer, we're gonna use Chocotour. We're gonna use our chalk and our transfer. Probably turn it this way. Oh. Welcome. And with this, it is, um, the brown kind of shows through some of this, but that's fine because it kind of gives it a worn, like it's, the sign's been around a while. So. Let's see if this is dry, dry. Still wet in some spots, so let's dry it up a little bit. Okay, so with this, we're not, this is what's gonna, this sign's gonna hang. Like that. Um, now, I will eventually, like, I, I'm gonna have to buy some because I don't have it, but like a vine, like a ivy vine or something to go around the edge. Um, I will keep this, um, with, what's this welcome sign will stay on here, but what'll happen is, through seasons we'll change the vine so like now it'll be like um ivy vines and then when fall comes we do fall leaves oops like um halloween or thanksgiving you can put pumpkins you know lining the down below um you could do christmas theme and then a winter theme and then valentine's all basically you can switch it out see if i can do this a third time <laughs> Switch it out um, for the seasons, but the sign will always stay. And that's one of the reasons I, that, that, that this one needs to go on the inside is because of this sign, the way it sits. Otherwise, otherwise it would be on up here and it would cause it to be like wonky. So, come on, get on there now. So, anyway, also what I was going to say is... If you're gonna hang hang it on the wall, you can like take some jute twine and and make a hanger like that, like staple it to the ends to here, so you can have that to, to hang. Or you could even put like a popsicle stick through here and then put the um, maybe like the sawtooth hangers that we they, they have. You can put those. To hang it however you wanted to hang it um, or you could just lean it up against the wall but that was the cute little um, gate fence piece that I seen her do um, really cute this was the same sign she used and I just happened to have some I had just gotten some at uh, Michael's not recently so anyway that was my uh it did turn out really cool I know I was like I said I I um I look on YouTube. YouTube is my my friend when it comes to crafting. That's all I listen to anymore is YouTube craft shows. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here, get this cleaned up. Um, tomorrow's Friday, three day weekend. Whoop whoop. So 
I don't know. I will talk to you all next week. Um, I have bought a bunch of projects I need to start getting ready and getting done. I'm glad I did this one though. I was really looking forward to doing this one. So, and then when I get some. When I get some uh, flowers on here, like the vines, I will post. Oh, that's another thing is when you put the vines on there, you're, you're, you want to switch it out. Don't glue them or staple them. You'll want to get like zip ties or um, the twisty ties and put them on because it'll be on the back and nobody will see that. So that way you can switch them out. So, Or you can make a fence for every season, out, whatever you want. <laughs> so anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.